kicking into gear these last few weeks with your blog and the Instagram account, Mitch in the Kitch. Recipes and photos. I feel like as just an onlooker, you've started to focus on presentation during quarantine. It's beautiful plates. Is that something that you've decided to, to put more time towards? Well, thank you. First off, uh, yeah, a little bit. You know, I do have to credit my wife there. She's always helping me out with that, and she knows kind of the best lighting for photos and what's going to look good. And yeah, I mean, especially on a medium, you know, like Instagram, you can't taste the food, so you're going to eat with your eyes, so to say. So you got to present it in a way that looks good. You know, I've I've made a few dishes and you put it on the plate, and it kind of just looks like dog food. And you're like, yeah, I might not go ahead and post that. Uh, it's not going to respond too well. Yeah. Well, the colors are beautiful. Uh, some highlights for me in the past uh, few weeks, chicken nachos, the avocado toast, the spare ribs. What is your favorite thing to cook? So my single favorite thing to get right is brisket. Ooh. You know, if you're, you're barbecuing, I use a Traeger. But brisket to me is it's challenging because every single one's different. You know, you could follow the same recipe, you know, cook it to the exact same temperature and all these things. And it's just different every time. And there's a little bit of, you know, kind of feel to it where... Uh, you got to make some judgment calls along the way. Mm-hmm. And so when you nail it, it's such a good feeling because, you know, you spent hours figuring it out and, and trying to make it perfect. Yeah. But I'd say for, you know, kind of a day-to-day, my favorite thing to cook would be pizza. Sure. It's really easy. You know, dough is really easy to make. I think people are learning that. And, you know, it's the ultimate customizable food. And so I love a good homemade pizza. Yeah, I, I've seen many a pizza in your brisket journeys. Brisket, also my favorite barbecue. And I, and I was thinking about it when I was looking over your career. And I, I wish I was there the day you found out you were going from Cleveland to signing to Kansas City, one of the heavens for barbecue. That must have been a dream and part of your decision making. It had to have been. Yeah, you know, I was one of the kind of weird things when I was leaving Cleveland is I wanted to to go to you know a, a new place and Kansas City ended up being it and I knew the barbecue history so that was exciting but I wanted a place with more room I wanted a grill I wanted to be able to cook outside on the patio and just enjoy that and so you know the marriage of me coming to Kansas City the barbecue scene you know it definitely kind of sped up my process because I just lived in not the greatest apartment in, in Cleveland I couldn't even have a grill on on my deck and so I was really, really looking forward to that. And then, you know, landing here and some would say it's kind of the, the mecca of barbecue. You're able to learn it all. And I mean, there's just so many places and it seems like, you know, every month or two, there's a new kind of hot barbecue spot. And sure, it's just, it's, it's really exciting. 